नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लीगल देसी टुडे वेयर डाइविंग इनटू द वाइब्रेंट वर्ल्ड ऑफ याकुजा और लाइक अ ड्रैगन एज इट्स कॉल्ड नाउ विद इट्स लेटेस्ट एंट्री इंफिनिट वेल्थ नाउ दिस गेम हैज बीन मेकिंग वेव्स स्पेसिफिकली बिकॉज़ फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट मूव्स कंप्लीटली आउट ऑफ जापान एंड इनटू द ट्रॉपिकल पैराडाइस ऑफ हवाई सो लेट्स जंप राइट इन The plot of Like a Dragon: Infinite Wealth is a roller coaster of drama and excitement. From the bustling streets of Yokohama to the sun-soaked Hawaiian city of Honolulu, the game starts back with Ichiban Kasuga, sometimes after the events of Yakuza: Like a Dragon. However, why he goes to Hawaii, what happens to him that he ends up without any clothes on the beach, and what is Kazama Kiryu doing over there is deep into spoiler territory. but what i can tell you is that the narrative weaves through a complex web of characters the ambitious storytelling can feel a bit overwhelming at times almost like playing two separate yakuza games simultaneously yet the emotional resonance especially with seeing kiryu san making a return is something that will stick with you now let's talk about the graphics Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is a visual treat. The Hawaiian city of Honolulu is the largest environment in the series yet and it looks fantastic. The characters, especially Ichiban, bring a burst of color to the game with the larger than life personalities. The imaginative enemies transformed by Ichiban's Dragon Quest tinged imagination add a touch of whimsy to the game. Despite some predictable animations and dated design issues, the graphics overall create a vivid and engaging world for the player to explore. On the PlayStation 5, it seems to run smoothly with little to no challenges and looks amazing while doing it. Now let's get into the gameplay and this is where this game truly shines. The combat system evolved from a button mashing experience from the Kazama Kiryu era to a fast and loose turn-based battle back in Yakuza Like a Dragon and now it offers a fresh take on the RPG genre. The variety of enemies, each with their unique quirks, will keep the fight interesting. You also have a personality system where each addition to a personality adds its own set of perks and buffs. Besides that, Helpful inclusions to the game such as pound mates will add a fresh take to the combat. Being turn based, the party system makes a comeback with each character bringing its own set of combat to the game. The game's primary city hub, Honolulu, feels expansive and supports the JRPG ambitions of the game. And outside of the main plot, there's a plethora of distractions and mini games. from being the zomato delivery guy who wished he was a stuntman to making new friends along the way to catching your own set of human pokemon yeah i don't think nintendo is going to be happy with this right after the pal world fiasco the sujimon league a creature battling side game adds an extra layer of fun and parody mimicking the mechanics of pokemon while the main story alone will take you 60 hours Completionists are looking at over 100 hours to experience everything the game has to offer. In conclusion, Like a Dragon: Infinite Wealth is a truly indulgent experience, offering a rich blend of storytelling, vibrant graphics, and engaging gameplay. While the ambitious plot may feel a bit overwhelming at times, the emotional depth and nostalgic callbacks to the Yakuza series make it a worthwhile journey. The graphics create a visually stunning world and the gameplay with its diverse combat system and numerous distractions keep you hooked for hours. But this is not a game for those who have never played a Yakuza game. To understand the plot at the very least, you need to play both Yakuza Like a Dragon and Like a Dragon Gaiden. If you are a fan however of the Yakuza series, then this game is definitely worth the adventure and with that i wrap my review don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more gaming content and hit the bell icon to stay updated until next time happy gaming